kunnen we de backstage in onze interviewruimte van TMF met toch wel heel grote gasten, uh, namelijk de Kerels van Muse. Welcome back at the festival, because it's the fourth time you play here. Uh, with your uh, latest tour, you've done 18 months of touring. And right now the whole story starts over again, because a new album is, is going to be released very soon. Uh, is it like, well, good, fun, exciting, or is it like, oh my god, not again, 18 months? It's very exciting, because we've got a new album to play. So that's it's always very exciting to play new songs and uh and we just this is literally going to be our third gig or something so um it's uh we just really got really actually excited to get on the road and just uh see lots of cities and play lots of new songs and play to fans and people so uh it's a very exciting time we're not yeah <laughs> but hopefully <laughs> that would be a disaster i don't know how it is with bands like muse do you still have, have rehearsals every week or something like that uh, we don't rehearse as much as we should, you know. I, th I think I think uh, some of these uh, some of these gigs we've done. We've only done really done two gigs before. We did like um, a warm up gig in Milan. We did a small theatre in London, and uh, and we and we felt like we didn't really rehearse enough. So the gigs were kind of like we were learning the songs for the first time on stage, you know. But I think I think I think we're in better shape now. But uh, I think we've learned a lesson that the next time we go on tour, we need to do a lot of rehearsal before before we start. Yeah, there was no time problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we we're doing. Uh, it seemed like we were doing a lot of. Uh, like interviews and things like that, and it seemed like we didn't have time to do any rehearsals, so we've had to just go straight on tour and see what happens. <laughs> now, when you tour, you do so many gigs that I can imagine that in your own free time, you're not really interested anymore in, in going to see other bands uh, on gigs that you're fed up with seeing stages. Um, sometimes, but you know, I, it depends where you live. I live in London at the moment, so I'll go and see some bands now and again. I went to saw Lightning Bolt, and that's the last gig I went to, which is like two piece, like bass and drums, two geezers losing their minds playing some kind of dark, um, weird, experimental rock of some kind. Uh, but now and, then, yeah, now and again I'll go and see some gigs. I like to go and see bands when we do festivals. Yeah, because we just had the editors here and they were so frightened because they saw you next to the stage, so they were like, oh my fucking god, it's news washing. Do you do a lot seeing bands at that festivals? Yeah, I think, I think festivals, that's one of the things I like the most about festivals, is the chance to see bands that you would not normally get the chance to see. and. Um, and today we are, saw Kanye West today, I was first time I've seen him play and, uh, and, and uh, the editors, which are great, yeah, and it's, uh, yeah, festivals bring, bring lots of different styles of music together and it's nice to, to have that, that atmosphere, you know. Now on this new album, um, you said in, in different interviews that you got, uh, in a way, uh, inspired by some Belgian bands. Um, yeah, did you discover them when you were previously on, 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 uh, on, on, on this festival or is it more like you, you heard their CDs? Well, I think Belgian music in general, like going back to Deus, in the, like Deus in the sort of uh, the Belgian yeah, like the uh, early 90s and then bands like Evil Superstars and uh, Millionaire, uh, Soul Wax, yeah. I think, I, think, I think over the years we've always found um, uh, some, sometimes maybe more inspiration from rock music outside of England, you know, and uh, so I think it's, kind of been, it's been a kind of long thing with us really since, since the mid-90s, uh, since we first started, we've always been quite interested in, in some of the bands that come out here, you know. Um, uh, when I see you on stage, Matt, I sometimes think that you're a bit lost in your own world and in your own music and sometimes you do some crazy stuff and once you even smash the guitar to your face and you had to go to a, to a hospital, are you more careful when uh, after that happened? Um, well, I mean, you can't really predict what's going to happen, you know. The, I th the reason I smashed my face was because it, it was a really small stage and, uh, and we'd just come off a tour of like, large gigs and I sort of went to a small stage and I went mental and uh, fell over and made, made an ass of myself, basically. Um, but, uh, but no, I think on stage it's all about the moment, you know, you sort of forget, you forget everything, you forget everything else, you, know, you forget the past, you forget the future, and you kind of really concentrate on where you are, and you, you try to give everything into your instrument or your performance, you know, I think, uh, I think uh, you know, like for example, like, you know, the bass player from Chili Peppers, Flea, you know, like, if you watch him, you know, like, that, that's, I want to be like that, you know, just someone who's completely, 100% in their instrument, you know, I think, I think he's one of my favourite performers. You're very close to him <laughs> on the stage. And right, you have four albums out now. Is it now easier to, to make a set list or is there a backstage a quarrel like, no, I want that song, yeah, but I want that song, uh, is it, or is it, uh, is it easier now to, to make a set list? It's uh, most harder, really, because there's more stuff to not play, you know? So we did a gig the other night, we realized we weren't playing anything off our first album. Um, and it's just, there's more songs to remember, there's more lyrics to remember. <laughs> So it's kind of harder to get a set, but I mean, I think we're probably playing mostly new stuff because that's, uh, you know, it's just new from Frozen and it's exciting, so it's, uh, you know, we've just got a lot of good tracks to play, I suppose. <laughs> it's exciting for the fans as well. Hopefully they'll like the songs, but I'm sure they will. Thank you very much for being here.